the transfer paper uh, with, uh, with a cutter that hasn't that haven't got any um, optical eye. First of all, you will need the uh, proper software. Um, in this case, I will be using the Flexi Starter 10. Uh, to those people who own the Flexi Starter 8.5, I don't think you can do it. I don't think I used to have it, and I didn't know how to do it, or I, or the, the software is you know unable to let you do it. I don't know one of them, but I know the Flexi Starter 10 will let you will let you do it. I show you how. At the beginning, obviously, you need to take uh, your graphic, which need which has to be a um, vector file. You cannot. You cannot cut JPEGs or bitmaps. Well, you can, but not not within this software. Um, so let's open. Um, let's import my uh, sample graphic. Here it is. That's a very colorful graphic. I only I I only uh, have the um. A4 transfer paper, so this is going to be small, good enough for the for the baby for the for the baby tea or something for the child tea. Um, okay, so very simple, few clicks and off we go. First of all, this is the vector file. Make sure it's positioned properly on the A4, only because there there will be um, red marks. Red marks should be one in here, one in here. One in here and one in here. So what we need to do first, we need to find the outline outline for the graphics, so the a knife know where to cut it, where we want to cut it. So just go to the effects, and you know just highlighted contour cut. This one is gray out yet, because you need to do contour cut first. So this is this is the outline thing. So when you click it. The little outline will show up around, but you don't see it. I, I try to do, change the color. Oh, I can't change the color yet. Oh, I can. Sorry, it's click too fast. Maybe let's try the red. More visible. Oh, not really. You need to do it again. Contour cut. Okay. This is this is the distance of the outline. Of the graphic, so this is basically how much bleed we want to leave. Within with a very bright, very light white garment, that's not really a problem. I always leave some bleed, uh, as you can see. I show you. Can you see it? I'll try to uh, zoom in a little. You should see now. That's the way without the holes. With holes, when you, when you when you put the holes, all the white area will be cut out. We don't want that because there's lots of white on the picture. So we just want the nice outline around the image. So here it is. Here it is. You can see the how much bleed I left. It's too much. It's not a problem for the, for the for the white garment. You can get away with it because. You won't see it on the white. Not with this transfer paper. I'm going to I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use a, a Jet Pro Soft stretch paper. I got it from Yolo. Thank you very much, uh, Yolo, for that. Um, for the for the sample, I had the ten sheets sent to test them. A brilliant paper. Well, I, I pressed it to, for my uh, testy and and you say, but in the meantime, let's let's finish this one off. So anyway, so as you can see, there is quite a large blade. As I said, you can get away with it on the white garments. You cannot get away with it on the on the black. On the black garments, you need to go as close as you can, so there is no no any white after cut. See now it's nice and you actually go a little bit on the graphic. That's what we want. But I'm gonna press it on the white one, so oh, I'm just gonna leave it slightly, a little bit. A bit, just a tiny little bit. Okay, so nice outline everywhere, as you can see. That's fine. Okay, so now all we need to do is just click the green OK button, and 
outline is applied to the image. Now I need to go to the effects again, and as you can see, it's not contour cut mark. It's not it's not gray out anymore. So now we can use just click on it, and and rage marks will pop in on a page. Very important, or maybe not as important as I think, but I think it's important. There's quite a few different types of the um, reg marks. It depends what cutter uh, you have. I only have a Seiki, Seiko, Seiki, I think it's Seiki, cheap Chinese cutter with optical eye, well, that's what they call it. Um, so for me, on, only the four points works, like this. I think they're quite good. It's very, very nice and easy to um, to align your, your knife for those fresh marks. But, but also you can, if you have a Mimaki, or whatever you call it, you have those. They've, as I as far as I remember, I used to have a Craft Robo, Robo Craft, Craft Robo, and there was similar reg marks. They was very good, and they for the proper, for the proper laser eye. The, the eye, you can actually read automatically the reg marks. Chinese cutters can't do it. You got a few more, and you, you got the Craft Tech. Oh, there it is, Craft Robo. Oh, similar. <laughs> Not similar. Anyway, I have this. Okay, some weird ones here. So Roland, but in in my case, I could get away with this, but not upgrade enough. It's the same here. No, not in here. Sorry, Just two fast fingers. Two on the side. Not upgrade enough. Not for my cutter anyway. So four pointer it works best for me. Now this is the way I do it. We without the optical eye. If you if you found any any cutter and he says he has an optical eye, this is cheap Chinese cutter with optical eye, and you found one exactly this same model but without one, 10, 20, 50 quid cheaper, just do it. Go for the cheaper. There is no point to have this red light little beam on waste of waste of space on the on on the cutter in my in my opinion but anyway round over we've done we've done those rage marks one two three four and now we need to apply them again so oh apply you can see nice nicely applied now and what I do you just send to the printer so just send to the printer okay so uh paper is loaded now <clears throat> and now I, I'm going to show you how to how to pinpoint those reg marks, how I do it bloody wiggly thing okay so now the, the little icon appeared in here which is a contour cut icon you just click on it and the cutting dialog should pop up Okay, and now you can, all you can see is is the outline of a picture, which we do, which we need to just adjust the knife to nicely cut it around the picture. Okay, so just click to send. And now the very important window come up pop out. There is a two options in alignment. There is one of them is manual, the other one is bump side. Bump side, sorry. Bump side is is a, I believe is the one for the for the automatic uh, optical eyes in the graphic Rollins and and so on. The the expensive um, you know the de decent cutters, not cheap cheap ones. Um, <clears throat> so we just need to click manual. See that's manual. The optical eye doesn't do any any job for you. Any everything you need to do yourself. You go manual and now the, the little arrows pop up so now you can stay with the arrows on your keyboard see, look, look at look on it how I do it see and now you can see the um, blade is moving so all we need to do just go down to a cutter sorry you might see probably my uh, my head in a in a in a camera in a screen <clears throat> but I need to do it that way just need to align the knife if you think the knife is uh, right above the uh, reg mark, 
most of the cutters I've seen they have a knife on the spring so all you do you just need to pinpoint you just check if if the knife hit right in the middle of the target the the, the, the reg bar right in the middle of the cross that one isn't just yet and a little bit more To the left, okay. I think he's now he's dead on. All you do is just click OK and the cutter move to the another one. See, I'm just pinpointing with my uh, with my knife because the beam in the laser, even if if it will be usable, if you want to use those those bloody things, the beam is too big. I, I, instead of show you this exact where the cross is, exact point, it show you like one big dot, which is you know not accurate enough for what we're doing. Maybe, as I say, you might get away with it on a on the white garment but not on the black ones, no way. Okay, I think that's pretty much that's what I want. Goes to another one. Is that on? And the last one is very difficult on the A4 paper because sometimes it slip out of the of the cutter. It's better on the A3, but obviously. No. I think he's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I click OK though. <clears throat> that was our last one. And now you can see that on the screen, please put knife back in the cutter and click OK to start cutting. I don't know what they mean because the, the knife is always there. So just click OK and um, wait and see what how he's going to cut, you know, cut the transfer. Okay, it's done. Here is a graphic ready. Already cut it, and let's see how accurate I managed to uh, set those um, those um, bridge marks in here. So let's just peel a little. moment <laughs> it's very easy to the win here this is just a bit of waste there is no ink on the edge it's 
little bit in here, just a tiny little bit in here, but uh, around the rest of the edges, it's nice and white. That means it was, it was pretty good, uh, pretty accurate. So uh, let's see if I have something else here. That's just a little bit in here. Bit in here and bit in here. This paper is so tiny, so sensitive. Check it again. There's something else here. You need the palm tree. I wish to be there. <laughs> How does that look like? Pretty good to me. That's a little proof for you that you don't need any bloody expensive um, eye cutters. I mean, I mean, don't take me wrong. I, I love to have one of the expensive Roland or Graphtec machines, and I don't need to align it by my eye. But you, you, oh, it would be brilliant. But if you own the Chinese cutter, or you plan to buy one. Don't bother about the optical eyes, as you can see, they don't work. This is only way you can adjust the nice, nice and um, align the knife nicely and accurate. So, um, what we're doing now, well, let's find some um, test t shirt and press it on and see how it goes. I got my t shirt ready, it's just a test t shirt, so I'm testing it. There's something on the other side. Okay, so I just do quick press. Get rid of the wrinkles. Okay, so the yellow is recommending 190 de degrees Celsius for this paper for Jet Pro Soft Stretch for 30 seconds. Very heavy pressure. Well, heavy pressure. I found. Uh, I found. Uh, according to this, I always. Do, I always been doing according to the um, to the instruction from yellow, and um, I found them really good. So no. With my press, you don't need, don't need adjust anything. So here we go. It's nicely weeded. Just place it somewhere here. Cover. Cover over Teflon paper, Teflon sheet, and apply heavy pressure. Oh. Too heavy. Okay. Thirty seconds. Couple of seconds left. And this is peel coat product. So just Apparently, if you if you wait until it's cold, cold, it gives you more shiny effect. I actually like the shiny effect. It gives you like a like a printed on vinyl or something. Or I don't know. Well, I think it's nice. I think it looks really professional. Okay. With dark papers, when you peel cold, it gives you this nice, nice shininess. Okay, I think that do. A bit more. Okay. Yes, always with the soft stretch, I will stretch it. If you stretch it, give you. 
me it looks like pr printed on the di direct to garment machine okay let's get rid of the wrinkles again where is my devil? Oh, I don't know if there's another one push Here it is done. Let's look into it. I don't know if it if it focus, if the camera focus, but uh, yes. and the details. I think it's very nice. Love it. Okay, so that's it really. Um, done the t-shirt. You know, here it is. Sorry, it's a bit too dark in here. I forgot about my lighting when I started <laughs> this video. It was nice and bright. Um, you had a window, but well, oh well. I think you can still see me. Yeah. Here it is. That's a tea done. It's nice and shiny. It's very very soft I think well, best 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 paper I found that, um, on the market at the moment well it's not that I really look for them because I don't normally don't don't print I think I started only print a few months ago with with a transfer paper I, I printed in the past but I um, hate it didn't like it so I um, so I didn't even want to start with this one really because you, I just didn't like the feel of it and just Great big square um, sheet of paper on the on the on the t-shirt or on the, on the hoodie or something that, that looks crap. But uh, then then I, then I thought, oh, I, I give it a go with a, with a contour cut. I, I've done it quite a few times, but not really on the transfer paper. And I thought it was brilliant. Now I actually like the like the transfer paper and this one. This one, you, you know, if you ne never had it, get it. Get it from Yolo's Jet Pro Soft Stretch. Um, fantastic for, for for the light for the for the light garments um yeah so the quick conclusion um uh, i made this video just to just to show you that um you can start the cutting uh, your transfers um quite cheap you don't need you don't need like a thousand pounds for the cutter well, would be nice i know but if you have on the spare couple hundred quid you can go for the chinese um chinese cheap cutter they to be honest, they ask who, they, they ask who to, to set on the windows, especially the new windows. But uh, once you once you do it, they, they work perfectly fine. Um, um, the thing is, the most important thing I, I wanted to say is regarding those chip cutters. If you see the option of the chip cutter with the optical eye for extra 20 quid, 30, 40, 50 quid, or let just just don't don't get fooled don't just don't don't buy it because as you can see they normally they're useless sometimes they they actually hanging out of the of the machine before they arrive uh if they not hang out they, they're in the place they just not calibrated properly even i calibrate one uh, my myself and i know i've done a good job but again it was really hard to align the knife properly um so just just don't bother really um uh, what else I would like to say? Oh, I also forgot to mention about my knife. My knife is 60 degrees knife. I had a 45. I'm not saying this is the best best knife for this. Oh, you should have it. What I'm just saying is just my is 60 degrees. So if you have a 45 worth to try, let me know if it works. It probably will. I can't see any, any reason why not. It's, this is very thin paper, so, so it, sh it should work fine. So, um, okay, no, that's really it. So, don't get fooled, don't spend uh, unnecessary t too much money for the optical eye, whatever you call it. Just go and print something, go and print and cut something. Thanks a lot. Hope you liked the video, hope you found it interesting, and 
I hope I save you a few quid. <laughs> Thanks a lot.